Yes, sir. Yeah, man. I, what, what do you guys think about uh, Will Levis? You guys, have you guys heard about uh, Will Levis today throwing five touchdowns? R- supposedly three of them were in a row, past twenty yards yeah. each. I mean, w- honestly, you guys, when we drafted him, um, and I haven't even talked to you guys about that. Mm-hmm. I um, <laughs> my my reaction. You guys, I don't, hopefully, you guys have seen the video uh, when we drafted yeah. Peter Skaronsky. I was not happy. Didn't want to take a guard because we pretty much figured he would be that high. But man, knowing our offensive line, how beat up they were. It makes it made sense, especially when you get Will Levis in the second round with as high up as he could. You know, his ceiling is who knows? Quick right. release, strong. The the attitude. I love the attitude. I'm just, I'm just you know what I mean? <laughs> um, but I think, man, w- what do you guys think of Will Levis? Let 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 it be heard, man, because I haven't I haven't even I don't even know what they're going to say. You guys, we haven't <laughs> went over notes. This is this is literally like I was at the park. And I hit him up. I was like, dude, look, I'm going live about an hour and a half, man. Look, if you, I would love to have you guys. You know, we're, we're pretty okay communication and stuff. You know, yeah. so this is literally freestyle, you guys. I have no yeah. idea either. Will Levis. Talk to talk me. Talk to him. Go for it, Jacques. So um, that's a big thing. I am excited, but also taking it also as a lukewarm type thing because – I guess it's it's good that he's doing it against the third team defense. I want to see him do this again. If he does this against the second team and the first team defense, then we probably we we cooking with some stuff. But I want to see consistency too. And it's hard as a rookie man to put all these expectations on him to say five touchdowns and then five touchdowns tomorrow and then five touch. I know yeah. the Joker's gonna make mistakes, but as long as he's learning and he continues to progress every day and then training camp and then when preseason kicks in. I think that's why I'm ready to really see it. But five touchdown passes from him in this stage, especially to somebody like Reggie Robinson. Like Reggie, we didn't hear Reggie Robinson's name last year in training right. camp at all. And you know he has the talent, right? So again, not only is it the five touchdowns is a big deal, but also think about the plays that are being drawn up to where he can get the point yeah. where he can throw those five touchdown passes. You see what I'm saying? So what I'm looking at, I'm just not looking at Will, but it's also Tim Kelly putting him in the best position to be successful also. That's a fact. That's a fact. Like, 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 he is going up against, you know, the bottom of the barrel on the team right now. And and going up against the higher competition, I mean, the Christian Fultons and Kevin Byers, it's going to make a difference probably. Yep. So that's, that's right. definitely what we are going to want to see for sure. What, what, what are you thinking, Hawk? So, man, I would say, man, what Jacques is saying is pure facts, man. Uh, And even to add to that as well, what you do want to see is progress. So, yes, he's throwing against third-team defenses, right? Cool. But as time gradually goes on, he's going to face second-team and first-team defenses, right? So we'll see that. Will he have struggles? Of course he will. He's a rookie, Mm -hmm. right? But there are certain abilities that he has that you can't teach. For those that play Madden, you can see like he's like sixth in the league in arm strength, right? The arm strength is there, right? The size is there. The ability oh, yeah. is there. So, like you said, to get him in the second round, that, that's a positive for us, right? Because we know Ryan Tannehill will be the QB this year, okay? But then mm-hmm. after next year, then you have some competition. And so mm-hmm. it's good for him to learn, Malik Willis to learn, these guys to go in there and learn. Um, but to get him in the second round, I think, is, is, is really a, a big situation. And to your point, T.A., you know, with Peter Skaronsky, yes, we needed an offensive lineman, man. We needed that. You know what I'm saying? And for us to get him in the second round, I think is is a big positive. Uh, I want to see him to continue to improve. You know, again, we are in SEC country. We live in Nashville, Tennessee. Okay, so we saw him play a lot against Vanderbilt. And just in, mm-hmm. just in general, they, they show SEC games. And Will Levis has the ability to throw the ball deep. Matter of fact, his top receiver is from Nashville in Kentucky. But mm-hmm. at times, he, he kind of floats the ball at times when he's indecisive. Yeah. Those things are the things that would concern me in the NFL. He throws interceptable balls out there. So, you know, so again, that that might be something that's in his repertoire. Hopefully he can work that through with good throws. But I'm happy for what I've seen so far. Five touchdowns, man, that's not that's not easy to do, man. Mm-hmm. Yep. I don't care what third, play, fourth uh, picks or what. I mean, you know, um, four string guys, it doesn't matter. You're in the NFL, man, at the end of the day, man. You know what I'm saying? So five touchdowns, that's pretty good for a rookie. Yep. Yep. It would it would be worse if we heard he struggled, right? <laughs> right. Yes, it would. But but you know what? I I would expect that because like like Hawk said, he's a rookie, man. A- again, I I kind of give grace, especially when it comes to quarterbacks, that Thanks. that kind of string to be like, okay, I can I can get on board with that. I can see you struggle, but or do you make the same mistake twice? Right? 
And how's your leadership skills? How do you how do you overcome adversity when something does happen? Like that's what I'm looking for with him because we're gonna need that leadership once Tannehill's gone. Like it or not, people, Tannehill, man, he's here. He's done a lot of great things for this organization. He nice. shows great leadership. And so we need if we're going to hand the, the baton off to Will Levis or uh um, Malik Willis, one of them gonna have to take it and just go with it. So yeah. Yeah, you know, and and you know, one thing I like is Malik looks way in shape this year. He looks way slimmed down. Like, he doesn't oh, yeah. look as, as, you know, it's not Sean. there. And he looks way more focused. His answers, yeah. does it doesn't seem like a deer in the headlights. I'm very impressed with it so far. And I keep telling people that ask me about Malik, because I get a lot of Malik questions. I keep telling them, let's see how he reacts with people trying to take his head off. That's what we need to see. If he shows improvement there, that's going to be big. That's gonna no, be facts. real big. So facts. we'll see. Facts. It's good that we got them both though. To to they're yes. gonna make each other battle it out, and and it's gonna be good for competition. It's gonna it's gonna yep. make them both better. So yes, I, that's, that's gonna be fun to watch, man. During preseason for sure. And, and you know, Ta man, to add to that too, bro. The positive of this season versus any season in NFL history is the fact that you can now have three in a, you can have three quarterbacks on your mm -hmm. roster now, yeah. right? So that changes the whole dynamic where you're not scrambling to find a quarterback off the street to be your third string quarterback. You have three quarterbacks that'll make the team. They'll be out there and see Malik Willis. His improvement has been unbelievable. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. I've told Jacques, man, we've, we've had so many discussions about Malik Willis and say, Hey man, you know, rookie year, some struggles, of course. Um, we know he has the ability, the arm strength for sure. You know, you know, yeah. making decisions and things that those are things he has to work on. But I was like, man, this off season, you're on the team, Malik mm -hmm. work hard this season, in this off season, man, come back, be different. You know, you will have an opportunity. You're on the team. You're here. So mm -hmm. I'm, I'm very proud of what I've seen out of him. He has seemed to really work very hard this offseason. So salute mm -hmm. to MW7, man. Yep. And I, I echo what both of you said. And just seeing the – I've been kind of following him throughout the offseason. He's put in work, man. Like, yeah, he's he's throwing – actually throwing to uh, Mason Kinsey, Nikki Keena Westbrook, um, uh, Colton Dow. Like, they had a session. And then Will Levis joined in. I said, so – these boys are focused, man. Even, matter of fact, I, I'm not. This is not an exaggeration. I'm not just saying this. I think this is the most focused I've seen this team overall, man, in a long time. And just the competition behind each position is amazing. So to have three, you can't never really have just three good quarterbacks. But now you got you something where it's unique, and it's almost like a situation how San Francisco it was in. Well, they kind of still in. Well, they were yeah. in last year with Jimmy G, um, Brock Purdy, and Trey Lance. Right? Yeah. It's the same same concept. Yep. That's a good point, Mr. Jones, by the way. Because yeah, I was yeah, against yeah. Malik Willis playing. I think most people were, right? You know, yeah. I was like, you know, but it happened. So what do you do with it? You gain experience. So I think yeah. that has helped him this year. Like, I, mm -hmm. I screwed up here and there. I need to work on this, you know? So, yeah. yeah. I'll add to that. Will Levis, his second year, just wait to heat the game. Like, yeah. that's what every NFL you player says. learn a lot this year. So, yeah, it's, right. it slows down. Once it slows down, yep. man – then that Josh Allen discussion happens, right? It's like, okay, well, shit, we might have a Josh Allen or what, what not. You just got to build around him. So. And he's th he's thrown into such a situation. We got a great defense if they're healthy. Oh, man. I mean, you've got you've got weapons now that if, uh -huh. like I said, if, if they can stay on their feet, I mean, yep. we could really make it hard for people to stack the box.